Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add a crosshair into your game for a first person. So I have this little scene here with a skybox, a cube for ground with a material on and the first person controller from the standard assets. We're going to do this using some UI. So if we go to game object, go to UI and then click on raw image, we'll see it appear under the canvas in our hierarchy. Double click and check it centered, so make sure you have 0, 0, 0 on your position there. And the anchor point, which is this, make sure it is center as well. So I'm going to zoom out and we can see that this raw image, this little uh, square as it were, is now in the middle of what defines our canvas, which is around the screen. So I'm going to show you a couple of different crosshairs that you can have. So the standard one that a lot of games have is just a little dot in the middle. And as it stands now, this will probably suffice. Just change the size to perhaps 10 by 10 and then press play. And we can see that the crosshair dot in the middle, no problem. So you can change the size of that if you need to. So maybe five by five, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's not too bad. So next I'm going to show you a different type of crosshair. So I'm going to zoom in on this and I'm going to lift it up a little. And you can see the position on the Y changing. So I'm going to change it manually to 5. And I'm going to increase the height to, let's say, 15. And then I'm going to duplicate that raw image. And I'm going to select this little option here. I'm going to pull it downwards, snap it to that one. And then I'm going to duplicate once again, bring it upwards. And I'm going to change the width to 10 and the height to 5. Now the reason I've done that differently is because having this dead center there means that from here to here is 15. So we can duplicate that yet again, bring it across, and we just need to shrink the size of this one at the bottom as height as 10. There we go. And if we press play, we now have a cross as the crosshair or a plus whatever you want to call it so stop that and let's let's do one more so if we bring this um this one upwards to about there increase the size of this one to 15 and bring it downwards let's increase the width of this one to 15 as well and bring it outwards and increase this one to 15 and outwards too so now you can see that we have the gap in the middle and we can probably bring this across just a little bit more. Bring this one a little bit more. Same with these two. There we go. And let's press play. So now we have that style of crosshair. So there's loads of different styles you can do and it really is as simple as just using the raw image. And obviously with the raw image, you can add on a text to that if you need to, or you can change the color of your crosshair. So for example, we could go green like what you would expect to see in um, the fallout games so i'm going to copy that hex color and duplicate that hex color in all three of these so this is just a real real simple way of adding in any type of crosshair to your game now obviously once you have these in you can also use the animation feature to animate them for example when you fire your gun you'd expect the crosshair to expand but that is how you add a very simple crosshair into any first person game. Guys, thank you very much for watching.